fasten your seatbelt. Everything went south. It was like my heart was ripped off my chest, okay? Because this guy, you have big boobs, they complain. You have small boobs, they complain. You are thin, they complain. You're Hi, fat. Welcome to my channel, Hansa237. What's up? How are you guys doing? What's, what's going on with us human beings? That guys, on this channel, it's been a while. I did a motherhood content. And I am here as a mother, a very beautiful mother at that. To give you guys some motherhood content, okay? For my first time moms. And, you know, just share with you guys my experience as a mom. So, I am going to be doing the mom tag guys i it's been a while i did a q and a on this channel and i decided to just go with the mom tag so if it's something that you're interested you want to know how this mom is doing how this baby girl mm, is doing as a mom you have to keep watching this video if this is your first time here thank you for clicking on this video you have to check out my playlist and you are going to see a lot my travels from dubai to maldives to cameroon different parts of the country in Cameroon, sharing your culture and all that. So let's just get into the video. So I'll be reading some questions that in this book. See, this, I wrote it down. It's been like almost two years, okay, <laughs> that I wrote down this and I have not been able to film it. So I I am finally doing this stuff. I, the first question is how old were you when you had your first, versus first child? I had my first child at the age of 26, okay. What part of the day as a mom do I love the most? I... Right now, I don't know. I just love it when the kids are asleep and I'm having my moment. So it could be late mornings. It could be in the afternoon. It could be in the evening. So it all depends. Once the kids are all like they've eaten, they're resting. That's my moment. Okay. What's your most embarrassing mom moment? Moment. Guys, let me tell you a short story, a quick story. Okay. So my most embarrassing mom moment was when I was flying traveling with my first son for the first time flying from yaoundé to dubai okay so i had stayed away from my son for five months because i was in dubai and he was here with my parents-in-law and so i came home to 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 take him so that we could go to dubai for the first time he was traveling for the first time guys when we got into the throughout our checking in boarding and all that he was fine he was friendly he was okay when we got into the plane he was fine he was friendly but when they said Fasting your seatbelt. Everything went south. This guy started crying because when I fastened my, my seatbelt and the one attached to his own seatbelt, so I fastened everything and he started crying because he's someone that doesn't love to be confined. At the time, he did not love to be confined in a particular spot. So he started moving around, agitating, and next thing he started crying and I could not, you know, calm him down. This guy, this baby of mine, Hanel. Hanel, Hanel cried for almost one hour. I did everything that I could to stop him, to comfort him, nothing. They thank God for the Ethiopian cabin crew at that, that day. See, they tried their best to help me, to stop him. They gave him juice, they gave him candies, they gave him everything, and he was refusing. He was just crying that he wants to go. <laughs> he was surprised. That was this moving house, okay? Everywhere is noisy. What was going on? I tried. I was wearing white and my white turned into brown walk with him on the aisle the cabin crew the hostesses were moving with him they took him to the kitchen they gave him everything and he couldn't stop crying at some point he cried on i couldn't do it was like my heart was ripped off my chest okay because i couldn't bear seeing my child going through so much pain and i cannot do anything we cannot stop we have for us to to Addis Ababa. what do i do he cried until he he finally slept off at the aisle of the aircraft <laughs> he slept up and I was like, oh my God, what do I do when this child wakes up? I left him there. He slept for a while. I carried him back to my seat and he slept for hours. And then he got up just a few minutes before the flight, before um, landing at Addis Ababa. And guys, that was a horrible, horrible experience for me that I don't want to experience it anymore. But all the other time that we fly, we travel together, he was cool. He was happy. You see? That was my worst moment, guys. I don't wish it for anybody. Like, I felt so bad. I was feeling like I've stolen a child. My goodness. Okay, so moving on. to you. What's the worst, worst thing someone said to you while you were pregnant? The worst thing someone said to me while I was pregnant is, can I remember the last time I was pregnant was two years ago. All right, during my first pregnancy, somebody body shamed me. Oh, you don't look well. Oh, what's happening with your breasts? My breasts were we were full and i was not wearing bra so this person was like why is your breast like that so i felt so bad and i was heavily pregnant though anyway sure we move we move 
for the shaming will not kill someone this world is funny you have big boobs they complain you have small boobs they complain you are thin they complain you're fat you're com they complain you're chubby you're com they complain like what's what's going on with us human beings that's we cannot place people i beg just do you and develop a thick skin all right so moving on um how many kids do you have guys i am a blessed mom of two cute boys handsome boys beautiful boys all right my boys are mwah. so i have two kids two boys soldiers <laughs> which of your pregnancies was the most difficult the most difficult pregnancy for me was my first pregnancy okay because there were a lot of things that i i went through that i i was not expecting it and like the spitting the vomiting the the cons like everyday sickness they say morning sickness no it's everyday sickness it was horrible there was days that i'll pee on my body while vomiting there were days that when i'm coming out of the car leave because i was walking at the time when i'm just then i'm stepping out of the car leave i'm vomiting and i'm peeing at the same time on my body like it was horrible the acne mm -mm, mm -mm, that was my most difficult pregnancy all right the second one was yeah i had the the vomiting but just for for first three months uh i i won't consider it to be my worst pregnancy the worst was the first one because there were a lot of things that i did not expect so it really dealt with me psychologically next question guys uh, you give birth through cs or natural birth i did both for my first i gave birth through cesarean um session through cs for my second i gave birth naturally guys so i've experienced both yes it's not easy man cs is not easy at all gave birth to hanel through cs um five years ago and ronel through natural birth two years ago but even though i gave birth to ronel through natural birth i experienced um heavy bleeding i mean one hour after giving birth and it almost took my life next so, question oh the hardest thing being pregnant my goodness the hardest thing being pregnant for me was the morning sickness the everyday sickness for the first three months for for hanel my first pregnancy and the fact that I could not wear perfume. I could not bathe with normal um, bathing soaps. Um, I could not eat, like sleep. Those are the difficult things, hardest part of pregnancy. And the fact that this small thing followed me right through my pregnancy. So that's the most difficult, challenging thing. Like if I want to get pregnant, eh, oh my goodness, when I think of that. <laughs> Next question is, um, what would be my advice to someone who is planning to have a child? My advice to someone who is planning to have a child is that you should get yourself physically fit, mentally sound, and spiritually, you know, ready. Okay, these are the three things that if I want to get pregnant again, I need to get myself to that position. Why do I say you should be physically that you should get your body ready to conceive a lot of us just want to conceive but we don't know that there are things that we need to do there are some um supplements folic acids and the rest that we need to take before we get con we conceive there are people that they don't take that and they get con conceive but it's advisable to you know start getting all those supplements before you conceive secondly there are things you need to stop taking while you're planning to conceive for example i shared a video i'm going to link that video to this one i shared a video while i was trying to when i was trying to conceive for my second child rone um the month in which i wanted to be to get pregnant i didn't get pregnant during that month because i was taking a lot of caffeine because i was working overnight so i was taking a lot of caffeine and that had and that took a toll on my body my health and stopped preventing me from getting pregnant so once i stopped doing that i had enough rest i got pregnant so you have to get your body physically ready to conceive secondly your psychology okay especially for first time moms if you do not know what pregnancy is all about or no matter how you read and people tell you stories you just need to get yourself psychologically that well ready like mentally ready and stable that okay once i get pregnant I'm ready to face whatever comes with this pregnancy once you get yourself to that level okay once you start seeing the vomiting the spitting and all that it will disturb you but hey you knew that things like this will happen this is what happened with me with my friends i was not ready psychologically and it really affected me but with my second child i was ready i knew when i wanted to get pregnant i knew that i wanted like i was ready physically mentally and spiritually you need to pray because there are people out there that they want children but they don't get it you need to pray for god to give you a child children comes from god you need to pray to god to sustain you to, while you're trying to conceive during your pregnancy and after giving birth because when people die after giving birth few minutes after giving birth a day after giving birth people die so you have to pray to god to sustain you well, moving on next question is um what has been the hardest part being a mom the hardest part for me being a mom is 
not having my privacy, my alone time, a moment. You don't have your privacy anymore. There are things that you want to do that you cannot do. That's the hardest part, being a mom, okay? That you have to be responsible for. For, for two little kids, for two, for two boys, what has motherhood taught you oh my god see i can go on and on when it comes to this first motherhood has taught me to be patient before getting pregnant before bearing children i didn't used to be that person i'm still not really patient like that but because i have kids i have to be i learned to be patient god has blessed me given me the grace to be patient i try to be patient a lot when it comes to my kids to tolerate certain things tolerance tolerance you have to tolerate a lot of things from your kids you will tell them stop over and over and over and they still still do it you will beat them they will continue doing the same thing especially with my second he's at that stage where stop noise you see like that mama, mama is swimming what and then you beat him no, no beat him. yeah sure, sure. i'm coming to beat him so guys you see now um i have learned to tolerate there are things there are times that children will do things that you, it feels like you should ah, tear them apart all right but you cannot do it because you're a mom and you have to compose yourself in it you have to understand you have to have that listening ear you have to have compassion i've learned to have unconditional love for my children okay from the time they were conceived in my womb like you knew there was a little like you knew that you're going to be a mom there's something growing in you you start developing that you know that feeling of catering for someone else so i've learned to give unconditional love to my children and to love my mom more even more because i now understand what she went through as a mom and what she's going through as a mom so that is what motherhood has taught me to be patient to be tolerant to be loving to to to, to be strong okay to be strong all right and all that is from god all right last question okay the last question on my list is did you plan to be a mom at the time that you became a mom yes i would say yes i planned to be a mom at that time i had already started my husband and i were already having this discussion about having children having a child lean i planned planned to get married at the age of 26 have children and god bless me i thank you guys for watching this video do not forget to like subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment down below if it's your first time here thank you for coming here and until next time it is bye bye from rosie